नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेज दैट इंडिया ग्रोथ इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इट्स कॉन्स्टेंटली राइजिंग ही सेज दैट आवर क्रिटिक्स आर एट ऑल टाइम लो क्रिटिक्स क्रिटिक्स सब ऑल टाइम लो आवर ग्रोथ इज आर राइजिंग ट्रेवेंटसली निर्मला सीतारामन सेज यार प्रॉब्लम यू नो द अमाउंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट यूपीएस क्रिएटेड we are still fighting the problems we are still still facing challenges because of the problem up had created and we are still solving it now this is 10th year or whatever 9th year of them being in the government it continues now today i want to discuss this concept of growth has india grown have you grown that's what i'm going to talk about let's get right to the show goldman sachs a company from united states they done a research and this research was called the rise of affluent india this report is very interesting this report talks about the income of working age population in 2022 and the research says that 49.7% people earns less than 1.25 lakhs in our country 49.7% people half our people earns less than 10000 rupees per month half our population earns less than 333.3 or 334 rupees per day half our population now when you talk about growth what exactly does growth mean does growth mean the 4% population or 4.1% population that earns more than 8.3 lakhs or does growth mean 7.8% of the population that earns anything between 4.1 to 8.3 lakhs or does growth means 18.1% of our population which earns anything is growth about 50% 49.7% of our population that earns 1. Point, less than 1.25 lakhs around 10000 rupees a month average and around 334 rupees a day now um, whenever we are shown growth you know we are shown atal setu we have we are shown samruddhi mahamarg you know atal setu for a single journey a car would cost 250 bucks you have to pay 250 bucks to do a single journey in atal setu 50% of our indians according to golden sat report earns 334 rupees a day atal setu if you have to cross you have to pay 250 rupees and <laughs> assuming he has a car which is kind of next to impossible so who is this atal setu for so does that growth actually represent india's growth because 50% of people can't use it no 50% of the country can't use it so how can that be country's growth building me ek jan ac khareeda in the entire building one person bought the ac you can't say that that entire building is rich no only one person one flat bought an ac the rest of them still fan queen 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 on the, in the in the ceiling that's what happens how can you call the entire building rich likewise 50% people can't afford this tell let me tell you Oh, Mumbai Ayodhya you know you speak about Ayodhya we spoke about Ram Mandir being bhavya Ram Mandir being built for all Hindus and all that one ticket to from Mumbai to the cheapest i am saying one of the cheapest tickets from Mumbai to uh, Ayodhya rail ticket is 700 rupees 700 rupees the man earns 334 rupees per month 700 rupees then he has to come back that's another 700 rupees then he has to stay there that's another 3 4000 rupees so what exactly are we offering what are these offers these great air condition trains who is benefiting them these brand new cars who is benefiting them electric cars who is benefiting them 4.1% people is that growth put you call that growth now let me let me let me talk about some myth because i know a lot of people are going to write down saying that hey have you gone to the nearest mall the mall you can't even stand it is full of people yes it is You know what our population is? It is 140 crores. 
If 1% of 140 crores goes out to shop, it is 1.4 crores of people going out to shop. So yes, yes, you're bound to see a market. But does that represent India? Just because some mall is full, that means everybody is purchasing out of mall. Everybody is buying microwave and air conditioners. Is that what the reality is? So showing full mall or somebody, I remember some minister had said, you know, theatres are full. Are showing full mall and full theatre, does that represent our economy? Does that represent your and my problem? So that's the question number one. Because I will get these kind of comments. So please don't write these comments because this is not true. This is not true. Malls are selling. The television is selling, that is selling, this is selling. That is because we have a large percent, 4.1% of people, 4.1% is roughly around 7 crores, roughly around 7 crores, 7 crores of people, population of certain countries. So yes, we have that kind of market, but that does not mean India is growing. That does not mean we are falta, fulta, dood ki, nadia and all that. It's not happening. Let's not kill ourselves. Let's be real. Let's be real. The division of haves and have nots are growing. This is something that Oxfam said. This is something that Goldman Sachs is saying now. And we claim to be growing. We claim to be growing. We claim to be uh, having setus and we claim to be having uh, highways. I, am I therefore saying that highways are wrong? Setus are wrong. We should not have setus. We should. I'm not saying that. For God's sake, I'm not saying that we should. We should have more highways. We should have more airlines. We should have more airports. We should have more of everything. I am not saying that. But we should be very mindful of the fact that 49.7% of our people are struggling. Are struggling for two square meal with 334 rupees. That's something that we should be mindful of. And the answer to that, which I know a lot of people will still write, saying that therefore 80 crores of people are given free ration. The answer to that is not free ration. That is not a permanent solution. In fact, it's a dangerous solution. It is a dangerous solution. Labharti politics or Labharti strategy is not at all a solution to a problem. It is not at all a solution to a problem. The problem will still be there. You are treating the symptoms of the problem. You have to make, you have to ensure that this increment, this people, 50% 50, 50 of our people roughly, they have to be, their income has to grow up. Their income has to grow. They will buy their own food. They will feed their own family with self-respect, asmita. They will feed their own, own, own family. They don't need any anybody's favor on that. The answer to that is more work. The answer to this is more income. The answer to all of this is creating more demand. And to ensure you create more demand, you ensure that you create more income for these people. To ensure more you income, create more income for these people, you ensure that you create more opportunities for jobs, create jobs for them. And to create jobs for them, you shouldn't be focusing on one and two and three big companies. Because one, two, three big companies do not give jobs to number of people. They apply more technology. The bigger the companies, the bigger technology they apply. That's the point I'm trying to make. And my last, my last point. You know what happens to this man who earns 1.25 lakhs if he can't pay his EMI? You know, his house is mortgaged. His house goes. His vehicle, they come and take it out. They come to his house. Goons come to his house, pick up his vehicle and take, humiliating him. People commit suicide. You took away, take away their house. They don't get any haircuts. They don't get any haircuts. But big, big uh, uh, multi-billionaires, oh, they get huge haircuts. 40,000 crores, 10,000 crores, 8,000 crores. These people wouldn't even know how many zeros 8,000 crore has. So the poorer you are, there is no benefit. No haircuts, no haircuts for you, no consideration for you, no bank will treat you with sympathy, no bank is going to say, TKR, Gari he doesn't have wherewithal to pay, maybe we will focus on richer people where we can get the money from because they 
take huge money and they are people who a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them end up not paying. Your NPA, non-performing asset, you look at it yourself. How much is the, that belonging to the large players and what is the role of a, a small person who earns less than 1.25 lakh income? What is his role in that NPA? That huge NPA that we have, the huge bank frauds that we have. How many normal citizens have you seen doing bank frauds? How many normal citizens have you seen doing bank frauds? Compare that to billionaires who have done bank frauds. So, loan hum bare. Income hamara kam ho hai. Opportunities hum ko nahi mil rahe. Jobs we are not getting. Demand, sales we can You know, <clears throat> I was asking somebody the other day. You know, when you go to a, a, a McDonald's next time, watch around you. Watch around you kids staring at McDonald's. Kids who must have never tasted anything close to a McDonald's burger or a McDonald's meal. Young kids, a small kid. That kid doesn't know that he is born to a lesser god, I guess. But that kid who has never tasted a McDonald's, have you ever tried to empathize with him? Do you know what goes in his mind when he sees so many kids, so many parents getting their kids, coming and having, enjoying McDonald's and he looking from that glass, these kids having McDonald's. The day that kid outside that McDonald's gets to go in and have a burger, that day is when we call ourselves developed. No matter what the government. Which government? That day we'll call ourselves develop. Like I said before I end, let me conclude. I am not against bridges and, and, and aeroplanes and, and trains and everything. I'm all for it. But my first priority is to ensure that my last common denominator gets food and not as a labharti, but he or she earns it. Earns it with self-respect. That's the point I wanted to make tonight. Uh, you have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.